bruh. Oh my god, it's been a minute since I've played Line Tower Wars Reforged. Dude, exciting stuff. Uh, I'm pretty much in a lobby. I have I have no elo, basically. I have no current kind of like ranking. My ranking is to be determined. So let's see if I can play this game and see where I stand in the ranking. I feel like I have to play maybe two or three more games. So I'll see where my ranking is going to stand. But uh, yeah, dude, I used to play this game quite often, man. At the moment, I think Wui is rank one. That is crazy. Okay, so yeah, look at this. This used to be my uh, tournament uh, teammate, which is pretty cool. So... Yeah, I'm happy. I'm gonna still gonna play the, I guess, the same. Should I play like a different? Okay, so 1700. It seems like a pretty low rating. Technically, maybe I could play like a fun, uh, something new. Let's try something new. Let's go for. I don't know, dude. Let's go for you. Yes, 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 yes. Let's try something new. Let's try something new. I usually always play the the uh, kind of sunray, which is a very consistent kind of like uh, elementals you could go for. So the ultimate titan volts are pretty freaking strong. Uh, we'll see how it, this this one goes. There's been so many freaking updates to this map. Honestly, there's been so many freaking updates. I can't even keep, keep up. There's been too many updates. So I'm going to send as many units as possible. Let's see. Who's this guy? Who's Bing? Good luck, Bing. He has 50 value. So, uh, really, something really cool about this game that's really nice is like you, you can showcase the lives. You can see the income. But there's one added thing, which is a value, which is a pretty cool kind of like a metric you could actually... Uh, pay attention to essentially it's the amount of gold you're spending in total on your kind of like base right so this is your base and you kind of have to like build a lot of towers and pretty much defend against all units sent so objectively what you want to do is spend as less gold as possible and send as much as possible the more you send the more income you get but you also don't want to be too greedy because now you see there's a lot of freaking sheeps coming my way and I'm, <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose a few lives Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be forced to build a little bit more, which is unfortunate. I think this is gonna be barely enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Very nice. Very nice defense, Mr. Vamp. Very nice, very nice. Uh, a lot of units sent towards my enemies. He's still not losing any lives. Oh, I think he did. He did lose 10 lives, so I have 40 lives in total. It's really freaking good. A lot of this, uh, I guess the professional scene when it comes to like line tower wars, the positioning where you're placed is very important. So in this case, who's my, who's sending to me and basically who I am sending to. So I'm sending to this, uh, this guy who doesn't have any rating. Not sure that's kind of like a, not the strongest kind of like, uh, I guess build he could do. So I don't think he's that strong, but so maybe I should be able to hopefully steal some lives and get a lot of. Uh, lives early on. I feel like early on, the more lives you get, the better. Because uh, you want to make sure as you're going to mid game, you have as many lives as possible in order to pretty much forward your lead and not be kind of like vulnerable to uh, big sends and all that stuff. So, oh, here comes a lot of freaking skellies. So, I think what I'm going to do is try to split the skellies like uh, this. So, they're, they have like, uh, oh, wait, I may almost effed up. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So the reason why I'm building a lot of these uh, cutter towers is they die instantly after they revive. So skellies do revive, by the way, for the people that didn't know. Am I going to lose lives here? I think I'm going to lose some lives. No, we're good. Perfect. I could also do like double sense. Usually that's a play. You kind of like uh, wait for the income timer to pop, right? So you see the income timer. Then I send really fast. And then as the income timer appears, I'm pretty much sending a second wave. That makes a freaking massive wave and very difficult to handle. A lot more difficult. So that's how the, the pros do it, right? Uh, so I'm still using the typical, like, uh, poke bunny build. Um, that's I feel like that's one of the strongest players in this community. He does stream on Twitch, by the way, if you guys are interested to kind of know more about this game. Uh, they are hosting a tournament at the moment, so it is happening live. Some of the top players are playing, so... I kind of watch here and there, you know, when I have, whenever I have free time. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check it out. Uh, it is going to be in their Discord. Hopefully, I will have it linked down below. Either way, at the moment, you could let's kind of analyze the board. Uh, we have 400 income. Seems to be about the top or among the top players, which is really good. Seems like uh, some players are a little bit ahead of me. We're kind of like keeping up, which is good. Um, what else? Value-wise, I have half the value of, like, most of the players, so that's really good. That's really good. That means I'm, like, utilizing a l has less gold to defend. 
and pretty much more gold to send. So that hopefully is going to create a nice income disparity uh, early on. And I should be able to like uh, do quite good from there. But you know, that's sometimes like you don't have two good senders. So since senders are not going to be that good, essentially you can forward your lead pretty effectively. Uh, so yeah, the only problem is I don't play this these elements pretty consistently. Since I don't, I might struggle a little bit early on because I don't know the extent at which they will hold the incoming waves. But these seem to be pretty strong. I usually like to place these uh, crushers in the middle here. But I feel like splashers are pretty strong here. They do have bounce, I think, right? What is this guy weak to? I think he's weak to air, no? Send some auras in there, and I think I'm going to go for an air wave. Let's go for an air wave. See if that works. I don't think it's going to work because he has a lot of freaking uh, those uh, rifles. Um, plus, those arrow towers are actually pretty good because they do pierce damage, and these take a little bit more. But oh, no, they take 100%. That's it. That's fine. So, again, as you see, I'm not getting any send, which is weird. Um, I got to make sure that I'm keeping the pressure on this guy. I Maybe, you know, there's probably some strategies where I, where I literally don't kill this guy right away. I wait for my income to go a little bit higher. So I come, I fight this guy with a lot more pressure, a lot more income. Again, I don't play this game often enough to tell you guys, that, like, how to optimally play this. But it, it's, it kind of feels fresh, feels good to come back to this game and kind of play. Just hang out and just, you know, play. I'm going to play to the best of my ability, right? I'm not going to play optimally. I'm not going to play among the top players. But I feel like I'm, if I'm being honest, I could probably play, what, 2,500, 2,400. I don't know. New season is different. So I might be uh, <laughs> talking out of my uh, my booty. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's go for more splashers. I feel like these guys are not sending whatsoever. So there's no point. And what I'm going to do is just build my maze. Because I cannot be lazy. Uh, essentially, you really cannot be lazy. I'm stealing a few lives, which is nice. Oh, we did eliminate someone. Well played, GG. GG. Let's be a good sportman sportsmanship and, you know, just throw in the GG. <laughs> it's not BM, guys. It's just, like, some good sports, right? <laughs> GG, GG, my friend. GG. Send a lot of units. You, uh, you also want to usually send in different intervals. Um, send those auras in different intervals so they're pretty much like all over the... These guys are sending pretty well. I'm just going to build a, an extra splash here. Let's go for more splashers, I think. Yo, these guys are good. Let's go for more splashers. I, I, these guys are... Sh okay, that's a good sender. You see the difference in like the sends, send patterns? So you see how different it is from one player to the other. The other guy wasn't sending anything and like the... Next up, like, this guy's sending a stupid amount, right? right. Alright, let's create a little bit of pressure on this guy. You see how, like, I'm aiming, I'm doing two things at the same time. I'm also, like, sending air, plus I'm doing, creating a little bit of chaos over here with, uh, with this. See, I'm creating a lot of chaos. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna probably steal a lot of lives from this guy. 22 lives, let's go, man, let's go. That's a lot. I have so much gold, I don't even know what to do with it, dude. All right, let's build, build, build. So our maze is pretty much complete. So GG onto this guy, GG, GG. Send as much units as possible, honestly. I'm just gonna try to eliminate as many players as possible. So this is the exact same thing. Oh, the, those are the upgraded versions, so I think it's not gonna work, actually. It might not work. Yeah, they have a little bit too much health. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. All right, let's keep upgrading. I mean, at this point, I'm just gonna, like, put splashers everywhere. I think that's the play. So we can check out the scoreboard in a sec. Let me just build a few more units. Uh, 4.5k value. Look at these guys. They have like <laughs> five times the amount of value I have. So, yeah. So I'm really limit testing at the moment, you could say, right? But yeah, it could bite back. And, <laughs> you know, if I'm not careful, it could really be bad if I'm not being careful. So I'm going to try to stabilize a little bit, build a little bit. It feels like this race is really strong, man. I, I'm liking this race. Like these elements are strong. I'm probably not even building correctly. I think I should probably go for, uh, what's it called? There's um, Void? 
Yeah, but I don't know how to play Void. That's the thing. I don't know how to play Void, if I'm being completely honest. So I'll try my best, but I might do some mistakes, guys. I might do some mistakes. Uh, let's try some Void like this. I think you want to play as Void, and they kind of morph, if I remember correctly. So Void like this, right? Dude, I'm making so many income mistakes. That's the thing. With my inexperience, I'm, 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 I'm playing like... I'm playing fine, but I could play so much better if I just had a little bit more experience, right? So we kind of changed the middle portion of the map, uh, my segment here, the middle segment, which at the moment is not being used too much. So I'm just going to go for straight up elementals only. That's it. We're pretty much done with the early game. Okay, wait, are we going to die here? I don't think we will, but uh, that's a lot of freaking uh, <laughs> cavalry, right? So a lot of knights. I'm going to upgrade a few cutters. I think I don't need that many, but I'll have to just like last level defenders here. Let's go for a little bit more splashers. Keep sending for income. Someone has left the game. This guy has been eliminated. Get him out of here. Eee, light work, baby. Light work. I'm playing. I honestly, I'm probably playing with like lower level players, but it doesn't really matter. I'm still having some fun. Uh, so let's build more towers like so. Perfect. Still not getting any sands, which I'm kind of concerned about. Are these guys planning a big sand or something? I'm not sure. Or am I just so ahead in sand? Yeah, so see, this is this is usually how I play it. So light light flies plus the uh, fire pets. That's a pretty it's a pretty solid element to play, I'm pretty sure. But now I think I just have like a such a big income lead, maybe, right? Check out the income. Yeah, I'm at 23k, so it's a lot more. A lot more. Definitely a lot more. Slowly but surely change into those, uh, what's it called? Elemental builders. Well, towers, I should say. Again, I'm not sure what I'm doing with splashers. It's I don't play this <laughs> splashers whatsoever, right? But I feel like they're pretty good because they do bounce. I'm just going to send for income, right? Okay, so you see how like these... Okay, so the archer towers morph. You saw? So basically, I, I didn't build like most of these, right? So essentially, what do you do is you build these void towers, and that's why void is really good early on, is they morph the archers into void. So you essentially save an gold, right? Because these, you don't need to switch them into elementals. They automatically build. That's so good. I'm going to try that. I'm going to build a few more elementals, so hopefully they spread a little bit more. Like so. Should be good. Let's get the spread going. So we have one top segment here, which is going to be filled with void. The middle segment is going to be filled with splashers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the way to play it. This is the way to play it, baby. Yeah, okay. Good, 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 good. And what if the bottom segment, we go with more void? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is the way. This is the way. I have like a really good amount of income, I think. So I think this is wh why Void is a really powerful kind of like uh, elements to go for because you you don't essentially you save up on 200 gold, right? Every time these, these morph, you essentially save 200 gold. That's huge. I'm pretty sure that's huge. Get these cutters in the mix. I'm I'm probably gonna get some elementals in the bottom, like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't play this game often, so don't don't don't, don't question the. <laughs> I don't question me. I have no idea, man, what I'm doing. Go for more void. Yeah, they, this is nice. This is very nice. I th wait, wait. I think if you upgrade these, right? At some point, they upgrade two, right? Let's try to get upgrade a few in the mix, like like this, right? So essentially, these tier one will upgrade into a tier two. A Voidalisk. So the Voidling goes to a Voidalisk. After a certain amount of time. Yeah. So regenerates. Send before I forget. So wait, 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 wait. Let's check. So regenerates one mana every once, every second and one mana every attack. 50 mana Voidalisk transfers. Okay. To a nearby Voidling within 400 radius into a Voidalisk. That's huge, dude. That's literally freaking huge. Oh my god, that's massive. So yeah, but it's just gonna keep upgrading these, I guess. Get a more, few more splashers in the mix like this should be fine. And then I'm gonna make sure that most of these are void, right? Like this, have these in the back, like so. I probably don't want to waste as much value. I could probably just 
focus on sending at the moment. Yeah, this guy's upgrading a lot. That's a lot of upgrades. Oh, a little bit of inefficiency here. Who's still alive? Okay, 1,200 and 1,600. What is... You saw that? This guy was moving like this. You just need to go to the end. That's it, dude. Oh, wow. What the hell is happening here? Yeah, I feel like these guys are relatively newer players. Right? Am I playing okay here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might, I might try to go for like two games in one. I might try to go for two games in one. Maybe that's the play. Let's go for two games in one and see if I could get a rating. Would be nice. I want to see where my rating is at the moment. If I'm able, maybe I can play like two more games and see where my rating ends up. Okay, I'm gonna crush. I'm, uh, okay, I'm gonna finish. Let's finish talking and just crush these players. So, see what do we want? Can I go for air here? I don't think I could go for here air, but I'm gonna try it either way. Let's see if I could go for air. Is this guy what level up into mushrooms? But I don't think he has the upgraded versions, right? We need speed in the mix. I can't. I I can't even send banshees. Okay, so I'm sending as many banshees as possible. Armor is spread throughout the maze. How many lives? He has a lot of freaking lives, right? I should be able to take this guy out, hopefully. And then this guy is going to be pretty easy too with air. I'm pretty sure. Because these guys are not sending whatsoever, dude. Yeah. Okay, he's leaving. Let's go for more armor, more speed. More banshees in the mix. This guy, this guy's holding pretty well, honestly. Okay, so this game, <laughs> I, I actually thought it was gonna win the game a little bit earlier than this. I'm not gonna lie, but I guess the game goes on, baby. The game goes on. All right, so still go for some upgrades. As you see, all these units have been leveled up, dude. That's huge. That's so nice. Oh shoot, there's a hole in my maze. I think I freaking know this. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna build up that income and go for the next tier sends. I think that's the only way I take these guys out. I could go for it like Crypt Fiends. Yeah, Crypt Fiends is definitely gonna go through. There's no way this guy defends against Crypt Fiends. I know the weakness of uh, Sunray is this Infernals. They're so difficult, dude, to handle. Honestly, they're so they're stupid strong, and it, it's. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of freaking Infernals to go through this guy, but we could try. They're expensive, dude. They're guaranteed to go through, right? They're guaranteed to go through. So my build, Abyssal, Abyss Snocker, they slow uh, units, which is really freaking good. Do it like this. Perfect. I mean, I'm just gonna like send Crypt Fiends, Infernals, right? Just slowly but surely chip, it, chip out at, at his HP. Look at this. Yeah, the, no matter the damage, He's not going to be able to kill them. And I'm probably going to steal a lot of lives from this guy, too. Look at the crit beans, man. They're on this. Okay, yeah, but that maze is insanely strong. Wait, what if I go for attackers? Is that going to work? It might not work because of this. Unless I go for a massive wave of tanks. Wait, should I try it, guys? Maybe I go for a massive wave of tanks. That might be the play. GG. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Let's, it's this. <gasps> Do I defend? Uh, hmm. I think with, there's no way these ultimate sludge monsters just don't kill these, right? <gasps> Wait, I'm weak to banshees? Huh? I cannot let this guy steal any lives, honestly. All right, let's try I want to try, I want to try, see if I am able to kill this guy with, um, Wait, I could technically... Wait, I could go for... Mountain Giants? No, I cannot. What I can do... See if it works. Yeah, it's not... No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I tried, dude. I tried so hard. Oh, dude, that... That is an embarrassing try. That was an embarrassing attempt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, what if I die here? There's no way I die, right? Do I die, guys? No? 
No way I die, right? Okay, let's level up some Hydralisk here. I need okay, hey, this is bad. That's a lot, dude. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of lives here just because I'm stupid. Okay, dude. Okay, okay. That's 31 is a lot. Imagine this guy comes back. Dude, I'm gonna get memed so hard in the comments. No, 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 no. This cannot be. This cannot be happening, guys. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. No, 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 Okay, we're defending, we're defending, we're defending. We're de I had to spend so much value probably, but this guy still has like double my value. I have so much more income. So if I somehow manage to lose this, I'm going to tilt. I'm definitely going to tilt, right? Oh, no. Yo, this is bad, guys. Okay, I need mushrooms, I think. Because I'm losing a lot of random lives to this guy. Yeah, this guy went... Dude, he's going in, baby. All right. Uh, do this, do this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of lives because I'm, I'm super slow at switching, I think. This guy is going only air? Alright, I see you, my man. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Build, 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 build fast, fast. If he notices that I'm going for uh, mushrooms, he should probably change his strategy. Alright, this at the end should be fine. I should hold most of the air now. If he goes for like a big air sun, I could just easily just switch yeah i mean he has pretty much he's good with against everything honestly so i need i just need to go for late game i think okay so let's not be greedy i'm just gonna build for late game i cannot underestimate my opponent here right i really cannot okay first uh no i cannot upgrade those is he saving a lot? Like, what is he doing? I don't get it. I'm severely underestimating my opponent, I feel like. I'm severely underestimating my opponent, right? I'm really wondering what he's up to. I can can someone tell me what he's up to? Like, I ha I have no idea, dude. I, I'm I'm generally just confused. Like, what is what is he up to? Okay, so we have nice mushrooms pretty much placed everywhere where we need. Okay, I guess he's just gonna go for attackers. Like, where he's gonna? Okay, big airwave. I mean, that could be easily handled, right? What do I need? Water elementals. You. There's no way I'm, I'm like losing any sort of lives here, right? Team. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. Perfect. Yeah, this is light work. Light work, light work. All right, keep sending. This guy's a lot. I, ju I just want to, like... Honestly, I just want to, like, a bomb... A b I could a bomb this guy, no? Can I not? How much income do I have? Let's try it. Yeah, this, this is for sure good because he has nothing to defend against this. So I think this is really good. This is a really good idea. But I, I'm very vulnerable too. Wait, I should probably make myself a little bit stronger. Let's go for you, you. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm playing very poorly because I'm too focused on on like attacking when I should be probably focusing on myself. It's good. At least now I'm a little bit more confident because I have like a front line, I guess you could say. See, can I even get through this? I don't think I can. It's not going to work, isn't it? Maybe it will. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice. Big hole for this base. Big hole. Big hole, massive hole. Come on. I can take him out, right? I don't know if he notices.
Come on, come on, big hole. There's no way, dude. Like that's a, that's a like that, that's that hole is massive, right? Like there's no way he defends this. Yeah, yeah, it's GG. Whew. That took me a while, dude. That took me a while, dude. Dude, I struggled so much this game. I have so much to learn. It's it's crazy, but I feel like I played A-OK -okay with a different element, right? Because this is, don't forget, this is not my primary element. So, okay, so I have one more game and I'm going to be able to have a rating. So let's try to get a second game. And this is the defining game, guys. After this game, we have one more game and we should be able to get a rating. So I did skip a little bit ahead. We're pretty much, uh, it was a five man kind of like game at the moment. Most of the players left and we're still ahead at the moment. By quite a margin, we only have to defeat these two guys. I feel like it's doable. It's definitely doable. I'm pretty much utilizing the early um, heavy damage to just kind of spam income. Essentially, I'm spamming a lot of like lower tier units because they instantly get killed. And it, that allows me to just like get a lot of income. I'm essentially sending high tier units plus a very low amount of units like this just to get myself like the income advantage. Actually, make sure that we're not dying at the same time as I'm pretty much explaining stuff. I could probably go for like one cutter at the bottom. The thing is, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm doing it like a different strategy. I'm losing a few lives here, which I shouldn't be. So I'm going for the, uh, what's it called? This, the icicle strategy, which I, I think I've done before, but it's been a while. So they do quite a bit of damage. Attacks, okay, so let's read what it does. Pierce hits all creeps in a line. So I feel like probably setting these up like in this line over here would be pretty good. Uh, there's probably like an optimal way of playing icicles, but I feel like uh, I'll give it a shot just to try something new, you know? I remember the, them being pretty good enough if they are being utilized in pro play, but uh, they're pretty consistent. They're pretty consistent if you know what you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to be building that nice income lead if I can. I plus, I have very good anti-air with the fact that I have, what's it called? Um, the light. Light is obviously very good versus uh, air. So I'm pretty much using the icicles to go for ground and a light for air. So hopefully that works in my favor. I'm not sure if it will, but I'll try my best. So here we're just going to be building pretty much all of our towers into what we need. Uh, just sending for income at this point. We do have a very cool income lead, which I guess we're going to utilize throughout the game. But for now, we just need to kind of like sell most of these towers, go for light in the back. Should be pretty good. Let's make sure we don't have too many holes. Like, this could be detrimental. <laughs> it would be pretty freaking bad. Let's go for some more ice. I think would be good to kind of spread these out. Because these are very tough to deal with, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I'm going to have to build a lot. And it's probably not going to work. Yep. I'm losing a lot of lives here. Kind of is a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. I'll just rebuild. No problem. Uh, Put pretty much only lights in the back. So I'm going to use this kind of quadrant of the base to just hit air i think and the other like the middle one and the top one will be pretty much used for ground see if that works so uh, last game and this afterwards we should be able to get a nice rating i'm expecting at least 2k rating right 2k rating is not much to ask for a 2k rating right makes sense i'm a 2k rated player right? am i actually i'm probably not if i'm being totally honest with you guys I'm ex expecting oh, at least higher than 1600, right? Between 1600 and 1700 seems reasonable, right? Right, boys? Uh, let's get, start getting a few more of these icicle. I feel like upgraded. Probably this tricycle might be good. At least three. I feel like these, these do quite a bit of damage. It's going to help me versus, I think, the dragon spawns, which I feel like is the only thing that I'm really struggling up against at the moment. So, yeah, most of these towers are... Not elementals, which is bad. I feel like I'm a little bit behind when it comes to building stuff. I should have been probably switching these faster. But I've been so focused on sending that I'm, I think I'm making small mistakes here and there. But it's all good. Sell so most of these. Start building more elementals if we can. We're, we're all good, boys. We're all good here. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. I can barely see what I'm doing right now, but it's fine. <laughs> Perfect, very nice. Switch these if we can. I could start getting, I think, 800. 800, right? Switch everything into 800. I'm pretty sure at this stage of the game I should have enough income for it. 
Uh, air, I mean, I should be able to handle air with these 800 level towers, I think. Holy. I can even get some mushrooms in the back. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I was like, damn, there's no way I'm leaking that, right? With freaking mushrooms. That would have been pretty bad. I think these do hit air, if I remember correctly. Let's go for one ultimate in the middle. Just handling the sea turtles is going to be vital for a survival because, like, spreading this armor buff throughout my maze is kind of difficult to handle. If I'm not ready for it, it's going to be tough. I really want to get a, a couple icicles in the top side here. I'll go for one ultimate here. Uh, one ultimate down here would be pretty good. Missing a little bit of gold. Uh, where else? Like, here is fine. Get two ultimates. Uh, do I have more archers? Yeah, I saw one archer here. I was like, wait, there's a random archer that I have to deal with. These are getting pretty far, if I do say so myself. I'm not liking this in particularly. <laughs> this ain't too good, boys. This ain't too good. Level these up. I think we kind of need 800 level towers pretty much everywhere at the moment. We're pretty good. Did spend a lot. So if you look at, at the value, I'm at 400k. A little bit closer to, I guess, red. Uh, let's get myself a little bit more elementals in the mix. I think some elementals here would be pretty good. Uh, do I want to start pressuring this guy? I think I do. What, what is he weak to? I feel like air? No? Isn't he weak versus air? Pretty sure that's weak versus air, no? Unless I'm... if I die here. I hope I don't die. <laughs> that was a really good call by my, my opponent here. Okay, I'm, I'm barely defending. That's huge. Really good. Really good reaction to pretty much uh, tanks, which I'm happy I did react to. Very nice. That should be fine for now. Could just build more elementals. Defend it just fine. Those attackers, no problem. I could probably return the favor at some point. Uh, build these into 800 level towers. That's good. It's fine. I'm not too worried at the moment. Uh, this guy's struggling. Oh, he did eliminate. GG. So now we're fighting this guy. Honestly, you know what I'm going to do? Yo. Thanks. Oh my god. He perfectly reacted to that. Come on, create a big funnel. Create a big funnel into his base. Let's go. Come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. That's a big hole, dude. That's a really big hole. There's no way he survives this. And that's it. I think that's going to be it, boys. There's nothing this guy could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing he could... There's no way, right? There's no way he survives here. He's rebuilding slowly but surely. It's not going to be enough. Oh, my God. I mean, these... Ain't... Wait, what am I doing? Go for air, dude. I just need to go air and I win. I'm so stupid. <laughs> if I open my eyes for a second, I would be able to handle this guy no problem. Go Banshees and that should be pretty much it, guys. Jetchin, GG. All right, 2K rating. Give me the 2K rating, please. That's 27 units, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that should be around that point. So is it going to be 2K rating? Let's see. 1850. I'll take it. It's not 2K, but 1850 I can work with. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this compilation of Lion Tower Wars. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know which elementals you want me to try out. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.